Well, I knew Cross2 made action cameras and dash cams, but I had no idea they made webcams. So it only seems fair that we buy one and we put it to the test. In the box, we get the webcam, thankfully, else this could have been the shortest review on YouTube. There's also a user manual and cross to us contact information if you want to get in touch with them. The camera is made out of plastic all round with a glass front. It has dual microphones which should allow better audio and the head can be tilted forwards, backwards and to the sides and you get roughly around 40 degrees of tilt. The head can be rotated a full 360 degrees. There's a mount on the bottom which allows you to attach a tripod if you would prefer to have the camera on a stand rather than resting on top of your laptop or your monitor. The bottom folds out and this allows you to put the CW100 onto a screen and it stays in place really well. You can fold it out completely and have the camera laying flat if you wish and there's two rubber pads which prevent it from sliding around too much and scratching surfaces. It connects through USB and just to make you aware the USB cable is fixed into the back of the camera so it can't be removed. It's completely plug and play, meaning that there's no need for any drivers to be manually installed. Just plug it into your computer and you're good to go. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS and Android. Installation brought no issues at all and the camera is detected straight away and we're testing it using OBS. We can do both 1080p and 720p at a maximum frame rate of 30 frames per second, but we only get the option of MJPEG for the video format. Would you believe me if I said that this was filmed in a completely dark room with no lights on? I wouldn't believe it either to be honest. The CW100 does a fantastic job of brightening the image and you can clearly see me. Movement is slightly blocky, but I suppose that's to be expected when there's no light available. Comparing it to the well-known Logitech C922, you can see what a good job the CW100 does in complete darkness. The movement does look better on the Logitech camera, but it's difficult to see my face. The Lantec W3 on the other hand does an amazing job in a low light environment. It's quite difficult to decide which one looks better as they both look as good as each other. Both cameras are running at their maximum frame rate of 30 frames per second. Switching on the light in the bedroom improves the camera in the respect that our movement looks a lot less choppy now and it's keeping us in focus throughout. The Logitech performs really well once there's light available in the room and it gives us a slightly more clear picture over the cross tour. The Lantec W3 does a good job with the light on too and once again it's quite difficult to choose a clear winner between the two cameras. Moving on to now light switched on, but with the natural light coming in through the window brings decent results for the cross tour. Movement still looks good and due to it having a wide angle lens you can fit a lot more into the background, making it ideal if you need to do a call with multiple people on the camera. The Logitech C922 produces a good quality image and does a decent job with the colours, but it does have occasions where it tries to auto focus. Does it warrant costing four times as much as the cross to a CW100? You can be the judge. The Lantec camera does a good job in natural light too, with it bringing a little more light to the image than the cross to a camera. Image quality still looks good on both cameras and for the price, they perform really well. Bear in mind that the settings on all the cameras are the default settings straight out of the box. So depending on which software you are using, you can adjust the settings to get the look that you require. And this is the kind of audio you can expect from the microphone on the cross to a CW100 webcam. And obviously if we keep talking, we come closer to the camera, we should, you should be able to hear us a little bit more clearly, a little bit louder. And if we move further away from the camera, so we're probably roughly two, three feet away from the camera now. And these are the kind of audio levels you can expect from this cross to a webcam. This is an inbuilt microphone test of the Lantec webcam. We're approximately a foot away from the webcam, so this is the kind of audio you can expect. We're going to do no kind of processing with the audio, so what you're hearing now is what you get out of the box with this webcam. This is an audio test using the inbuilt microphone of the Logitech C922 webcam. 
We've got nothing at all in the background, so the room is completely silent. So this is the kind of audio you can expect from the Logitech C922. And there you have it. That's the kind of audio and video you can expect from the Crosstour CW100 webcam. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave us a comment down below. If you need any more information about the camera, it's all available in the description down below as well. Have yourself an amazing day and we'll see you in the next one.